In the picturesque landscape of 1952 cinema, The Quiet Man emerges as a timeless classic that weaves a narrative of love, culture, and personal transformation. Set against the backdrop of rural Ireland, the film invites viewers into the life of Sean Thornton, portrayed by John Wayne, an American seeking solace in his ancestral homeland. Directed by John Ford, the movie not only showcases the scenic beauty of the Irish countryside, but delves into the complexities of human relationships. As you reflect on this cinematic gem, consider the impact it has had on your life. Can you recall a personal story where the quiet man left an indelible mark or perhaps inspired a newfound perspective? Alternatively, do you have a cherished memory associated with the film that has stayed with you throughout the years? Before we explore the random facts about this enduring classic, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey. Your stories and memories add depth to the tapestry of The Quiet Man and enrich the collective appreciation for this cinematic masterpiece. Now, let's delve into some intriguing aspects of the film, shedding light on lesser-known facts that contribute to its enduring appeal. Whether it's the behind-the-scenes anecdotes, the impeccable performances, or the cultural nuances embedded in the storyline, The Quiet Man continues to captivate audiences across generations. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below your personal connection to this cinematic treasure. Share the moments that have lingered in your heart and shaped your connection to The Quiet Man. Crafting a Cinematic Journey The Quiet Man, directed by John Ford in 1952, stands as a classic in the realm of romantic dramas. Set against the picturesque backdrop of rural Ireland, the film follows the story of Sean Thornton, an American ex-boxer played by John Wayne, who returns to his ancestral homeland seeking peace, but finds himself entangled in local traditions, family disputes, and a budding romance with the fiery Mary-Kate Danaher, portrayed by Maureen O'Hara. The movie's unique blend of Ford's signature visual style, rich character development, and a captivating narrative imbued with humor and romance has solidified its status as a cinematic gem. The on-screen chemistry between Wayne and O'Hara remains iconic, elevating the film beyond its narrative into the realm of enduring cultural imagery. The Quiet Man's impact on popular culture is evident in its influence on subsequent romantic dramas and its lasting imprint on the collective memory of film enthusiasts. Its portrayal of love, cultural clashes, and the allure of a simpler life has resonated through the decades, making it a timeless cinematic experience. John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara, iconic duo of five films, delivered an enduring classic with The Quiet Man. However, Wayne confessed the role of Sean Thornton was a challenge, stating for nine weeks, I was just playing straight man to those wonderful characters, and that's really hard. The film's depth lies beyond its stars. The pub's accordion player, Ken Curtis, later known as Festus on Gunsmoke, adds an unexpected layer. Curtis, a singer with Harry James, and the Sons of the Pioneers underscored the movie's cultural impact. This 1952 gem, transcending its era, set the stage for Wayne and O'Hara's cinematic legacy, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of romantic dramas. Amidst the rolling landscapes of rural Ireland, the Quiet Man quietly holds its own, with intriguing details adding depth to its legacy. One such detail involves the famous Thatched Cottage, a replica standing proudly in Mom Cross, County Galway, and another in the village of Calm, County Mayo. These real-life echoes of the film's setting serve as tangible reminders of the enduring allure of this classic. In the realm of on-screen dynamics, the film's pivotal fight scene between John Wayne and Victor McLaglen takes on added significance. McLaglen, aged 64 and ailing during filming, required careful choreography to bring this moment to life. The meticulous approach to capturing the clash underscores the dedication behind the scenes, adding a layer of authenticity to the iconic confrontation. Behind the camera, a clash of a different sort unfolded. According to director John Ford, Republic Pictures' head Herbert J., Yates pushed for a different title, favoring the prizefighter and the Colleen. Ford's resistance stemmed from a desire to preserve the film's plot mystery. His insistence on the original title prevailed, showcasing the director's commitment to crafting a narrative that would keep audiences guessing until the credits rolled. These behind-the-scenes insights, from the replication of the cottage to the careful staging of pivotal moments, shed light on the meticulous craftsmanship that went into creating The Quiet Man. These details, often unnoticed, contribute to the film's lasting impact on cinematic history and cultural memory. 
John Ford's insistence on Technicolor over Truecolor, despite studio pressures, speaks volumes about his dedication to visual excellence. It's a lesser known detail that highlights the director's commitment to his craft. In the world of movie making, choices like these can significantly impact a film's look and feel and Ford's insistence on the superior technology helped elevate the cinematic experience of that era. This decision, hidden behind the scenes, showcases the meticulous approach taken to bring this iconic movie to life, underscoring the attention to detail that often goes unnoticed by audiences. These choices, made by the director, echo the importance of the technical aspects in shaping the final cinematic product, leaving an enduring mark on the movie's legacy. The film, The Quiet Man, hides intriguing details behind its iconic facade. Among them, a notable fact surfaces about the presence of Ireland's national color. Despite the absence of this hue on actor's attire, a poignant green floral dress donned by Maureen O'Hara in specific scenes stands out, symbolizing a subtle connection to the Irish landscape. This cinematic masterpiece faced censorship during its initial screenings in Boston Ma. Micheline Flynn's remark on encountering a broken bed, impetuous, Homeric, drew scrutiny, revealing the delicate balance between expression and acceptability. A lesser-known aspect unfolds behind the camera. John Wayne took the reins, directing the horse racing sequence, displaying a collaborative effort while John Ford faced health issues. These nuances, from color symbolism to behind-the-scenes collaborations, enrich the layers of this timeless narrative, showcasing hidden facets that augment the enduring legacy of this cinematic gem. John Ford, the renowned director behind this enduring film, faced an unexpected struggle during its production. Bickering with studio heads left him uncertain about the story's direction. A bout of illness compounded his doubts, leaving him bedridden and questioning the movie's potential. John Wayne, his longtime collaborator, took charge, filming pivotal scenes to reignite Ford's passion. Despite his declining health, Ford's connection to Ireland, where the film was set, remained profound. This personal link symbolized a rare solace in his turbulent life. Such behind-the-scenes revelations shed light on the director's dedication and the emotional ties woven into this cinematic classic. As we reach the closing scene, take a moment to ponder the captivating allure of a cinematic gem like The Quiet Man. Delve into the rich tapestry of emotions it weaves, the subtle nuances of its storytelling, and how it resonates uniquely with each soul it touches. Perhaps it's the breathtaking landscapes that echo the untamed spirit within us, or the timeless tale of love and resilience that strikes a chord deep within our hearts. Whether you've been enchanted by the picturesque Irish countryside or stirred by the undying romance amidst its frames, your experience with The Quiet Man is a tale unto itself. Share your musings, your cherished moments, or the thoughts that stir whenever this cinematic masterpiece dances through your thoughts. Let your reflections blossom into conversations, uniting enthusiasts and novices alike in celebrating this classic embodiment of cinematic brilliance. Your narratives breathe life into the legacy of this film, shaping its meaning in a myriad of ways. Thank you for journeying through the reels of The Quiet Man, embracing its magic, and letting it etch its mark upon your memories. Your engagement adds a new dimension to its timelessness.